Pokemon as a game franchise has been going on for almost 21 years. I played just about every game in the series, aside from one or two main games and a few side games. Each game has its ups and downs and has earned a place on my favorites list. Before last year, the top games on my list were Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Suffice to say that over the past few years, the Pokemon franchise has gotten a bit stale and samey, but now a new duo has taken the throne and nudged the franchise back in the right direction. This duo is the newly released Pokemon Sun and Moon. Pokemon Sun and Moon was released on November 18th, 2016. It is the first set of main games in the series to change a lot of core concepts in favor of a tighter story. This gambit by Game Freak works completely in the game's benefit. The focus on a tighter narrative makes the game much more fun, exciting, and engaging. An aspect of the game that stands out for me the most is the new antagonist team, Team Skull. I love Team Skull. They are wacky, zany, and colorful characters, but what makes them different from other Pokemon teams of the past? Why does this band of misfits elevate the narrative more than other teams? Well, dear viewer, I'm glad you asked, because today we're going to talk about the beauty of Team Skull. Team Skull is a villain team that appears only in the Alola region. Their boss is Guzma, a 20-something year old that thinks he is the most badass person in existence. Although this sounds like a pretty generic character trait, behind that bravado lies one of the most carefully crafted Pokemon villains ever created. The difference between Guzma and other team bosses is the lack of a general end goal. For the past four generations of Pokemon games, the plan of the villain team was to take over the world using some extremely powerful for Pokemon. Guzma and Team Skull break this trend by only wanting to cause chaos in the most trivial of ways. The lack of a solid plan works to strengthen Guzma as a character. It is revealed later that Guzma isn't actually evil. He is just a misguided kid that failed the island challenge and wants to be taken seriously. Guzma is a welcome change from other team bosses who all seem to be maniacs in search of power. Guzma stands out from the other bosses because he feels like a fully fleshed out character with a full range of emotions and not just an arch typical bad guy. The reasons surrounding the creation of Team Skull make them different from other Pokemon villain teams as well. Team Skull members consist of kids whom, like Guzma, failed the island challenge by some means and were treated like outcasts. Knowing the backstory of the team provides a reason for their strange actions and strong kinship throughout the game. By applying the knowledge of the team's backstory, it makes sense why some members want to help the player character on his or her own island challenge, why some members scoff at the idea of the player character taking the challenge, and why some members want to cause chaos and disrupt the old ways. The members of Team Skull feel like an actual real-world gang. The members feel like a bunch of disenfranchised youths that have band together to feel more powerful. Each member has their own goals and wishes but are united by one solid idea. They joke on each other, fight for one another, and care for each other. The writing for Team Skull makes them feel like believable characters and not like a bunch of brainwashed yes-men that rally to the cause of a megalomaniacal leader like teams of the past. Team Skull differs from other teams of the past by showing actual remorse for their wrongdoings throughout the game. In the final phases of the main story, Team Skull's admin Plumeria apologizes to Lily and the player for how she treated them during the game. She says, This speech shows that Plumeria and thereby the rest of Team Skull are comprised of real characters with actual hearts. Plumeria isn't some comically evil villain, she is a flawed person doing what she thought was right by following the leader she looked up to. However, when she realized what she did was wrong, she tries to make up for it and become a better person. This bit of character development is very different from the actions of other admins in the Pokemon games that show no remorse for any of their wrongdoing and just blindly follow the ambitions of their leader. Plumeria's act of remorse serves to set her apart from the other admins and make her a well-rounded character character who has her own mind. Team Skull and by extension Pokemon Sun and Moon are great additions to the Pokemon series. The team helps make Sun and Moon the best games in years and my favorites in the series. The game deserves all the love and praise that they have received. Team Skull is both hilarious and a very strongly written group of characters. I can't wait to see what Pokemon comes up with next, but whatever it is, I just hope to God it isn't another group like Team Flare.